G'day everyone, I hope you're all keeping well. Welcome back to my short series on how to play tribal. In this video, we're gonna run through the initiative uh, phase or the initiative process and allocating uh, cards out to our units for activation. So on the table, you can see here, I've got a deck of cards up on the corner here with black backs, therefore the SRO Mudmen. I have a deck of cards down the bottom here uh, with the red backs, therefore the uh, uh, Maoris, and uh, each player has their own deck. I've got a unit of five guys here, a chief and a champion, five guys here, a chief and a champion. Now at the beginning of each turn of the game, both players will flip a card and compare them. Whoever has the highest card has the initiative for this turn, which means they'll activate the first unit. And then we go back and forward, back and forward, back and forward until all the units on the board have activated. Once we've determined who has the initiative for this turn, and in this case, for our example here, I'm gonna put this little, actually I might use a white one, it's easy to see then, little, this little white pip glass bead on the table so we know that the SRM Mudmen have the initiative. Both players will take these cards into their hand and they will also receive from their deck a card for every unit that they have on the table. So just for clarity's sake, I'm gonna keep all the cards on the table, but these would normally be in your hand. Then I'll flip for a total of three cards, because I've got three units. One, two, three. My opponent also has three units, so he'll flip for a total of three cards. And these cards, as I just mentioned, are kept in your hand. These cards are allocated out however you choose to your units and they will use those cards when you activate them. So let me just put these cards off to the side for a second and we'll do those guys in a minute. So I'm gonna have a look at my cards. As you can see here, I've got a two, a queen, and an eight. Now the value of the card has nothing to do uh, with the sequence in which units activate. They're simply used later in the game, typically during your combat, uh, during the combat phase, they form part of your combat hand, which we'll see you know, later on. So all I need to be concerned about at this point in terms of how I activate units, I've determined who has the initiative, how do I activate units, the unit must have a card uh, to activate. So I'm going to allocate out one of these cards, forgetting about at this point what the value of the cards mean to each of the units on the table. My opponent is also going to be sitting there, he's going to be looking at his cards, he's going to be thinking about what he wants to do with them, which you know, will make sense when we have a look at what the cards actually do, and he'll allocate those out to the units on the table. This is one of the things that I do not like about tribal, is the cards on the table at the beginning of the turn and throughout the turn. You could you know, come up with alternate sort of uh, solutions for that by you know, having a little, uh, like a unit card off to the side of the board that you, know, you could put the card next to so that you can see on the side of the board, okay, well my unit with short weapons hasn't been activated because I've still got a card next to it, etc. and you know, get them off the table. But uh, you know, it's not a, a massive, a massive problem. Now, how do we go about activating these guys? It's fairly straightforward. Who has initiative? The SRO Mudmen. So I'm gonna pick one of my units. It can be any of them. Again, the, the, the value of the cards makes no difference. I'm gonna activate this unit on the board here of uh, warriors with short weapons. I'll pick up their card and flip it over. My opponent gets to see that card, and then I'll determine what I'm gonna do with them. In this case, I'm gonna move this unit uh, up over here somewhere. And then the card that they had gets discarded off to the side. Now, my opponent gets a turn. He's gonna activate his uh, chief and you know bring him over here. He would flip his card over, I'd see it, he'd activate and move his unit, and then his card would also get discarded. And we go back and forward, back and forward, until you know both sides have done something with everybody on the table and there we go that's the process of determining an initiative and how you activate your units it's pretty straightforward and fairly basic um, as usual uh, well before I before I sign off once that is finished the discard piles stay where they are, a new turn begins, and once again, we flip our cards to determine who has initiative. In this case, I retain the initiative, and then I flip out an extra card for each of the units I have on the table. Wow, that's a great hand, a jack, ace, and a king. Um, and I have those in my hand. Same deal with the opponent. He would pick up his card and you know, deal two more, or one for every unit that he has in the game. Um, 
and off we go again. We allocate out the cards, and then me having the initiative, or whoever has the initiative, will activate a unit first, and we'll go back and forward, back and forward, back and forward. There we go, that's the process, fairly straightforward, of determining who has initiative, and how I activate my units. Lots of information in the description. If you've got questions, comments, or queries, put them in the comment section, and I'll get to them when I can. Otherwise, I'll, I guess I'll see you very soon. If you're still interested in learning how to play tribal, I guess you'll watch the next one. Thanks for tuning in. See ya.